G is a function that describes an arithmetic sequence. Here are the first few terms of the sequence. So they say the first term is four, second term is three and four fifths, third term is three and three fifths, fourth term is three and two fifths. Find the values of the missing parameters A and B in the following recursive definition of the sequence. So they say the nth term is going to be equal to A if n is equal to one, and it's going to be equal to G of n minus one plus B if n is greater than one. And so I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can figure out what A and B are going to be. Well, the first one to figure out, A is, is, is actually pretty straightforward. If n is equal to one, if n is equal to one, the first term when n equals one is four. So A is equal to four. So we could write this as G of n is equal to four if n is equal to one. And now let's think about the second line. The second line is interesting. It's saying it's going to be equal to the previous term, G of n minus one. This, is, this means the n minus one term plus B will give you the nth term. Let's just think about what's happening with this arithmetic sequence. When I go from the first term to the second term, what have I done? I have, looks like I've subtracted one fifth. So minus one fifth, and then it's an arithmetic sequence, so I should subtract or add the same amount every time, and I am. I'm subtracting one fifth, and so I am subtracting one fifth. And so one way to think about it, if we were to go the other way, we could say, for example, that G of four is equal to G of three minus one fifth, minus one fifth. You see that right over here. G of three is this. You subtract one fifth, you get G of four. You see that right over there. And of course I could have written this like G of four is equal to G of four minus one minus one fifth. So when you look at it this way, you could see that if I'm trying to find the nth term, it's going to be the n minus one term plus negative one fifth. So b is negative one fifth. Once again, if I'm trying to find the fourth term, if n is equal to four, I'm not going to use this first case because this has to be for n equals one. So if n equals four, I would use the second case. So then it would be g of four minus one. It would be g of three minus one fifth. And so we could say g of n is equal to g of n minus one, so the term right before that, minus one fifth if n is greater than one. But for the sake of this problem, we see, we see that a is equal to four and b is equal to negative one fifth.